Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you guys are doing good because I'm doing great as you can see. So I'm sitting down on the floor for today's video because I want us to talk woman to woman, person to person because I get asked this question a lot. You guys know I like to talk about relationships, marriage and all of that and I get asked a lot how do I find the right person? How do I know that this person that I'm in a relationship with or this person I am engaged to, how do I know that this person is right for me and that marriage will work out between me and this person, okay? Like work out really well. Um, obviously, we cannot know 100% if the person you're going to marry is your forever person we can't know 100% because human beings are very dynamic, human beings change, human beings are just complex, right? But to a large extent, I feel like there are things that we need to look out for so that we give ourselves the best chance at finding the right person for us, okay? So I'm going to be discussing all of that in today's video, but first of all, this video is sponsored by BetterHelp and I'm so excited for this sponsorship simply because I have been looking for a platform like BetterHelp for a very long time. You guys know that in Nigeria, therapy, visiting a therapist, talking to a therapist is not something that we typically do. It's not something that we normally do in Nigeria and I feel like a lot of us really need to speak to somebody a lot of us are going through a lot in life in fact just being a nigerian in this country you're already going through a lot okay but on a serious note a lot of us are going through stuff and therapy is not something that we are used to coming across a platform like better help was just like a breath of fresh air for me better help is a platform where you can access therapies from all over the world wherever you are you can access a therapist either on your phone or your laptop or your mobile device basically you can get access to a therapist therapist wants to sign up on the platform. When you sign up, you ask some questions that they use to determine the best therapies for you because they have so many licensed professional therapists on the platform, but they want to be sure that the therapies they are giving to you to help you with your situation is a therapist that actually aligns with you know your personality your goals your objectives your you know your values and all of that these therapists on the better health platform are actually licensed trained accredited professional therapists professional psychologists who you know know what they are doing okay so it's not just anybody on the internet talking to you these are actually certified therapies that will talk to you all of them either have a master's degree or a doctorate degree in their field so we're talking about real professionals here and that's what i love about it because you can get professional help from your bedroom okay from your home and again these therapies are verified However, if you want a change, you can actually request a change and the person will be changed immediately, okay? So this is something that is really, really beneficial to everyone out there. I really implore you to sign up to the BetterHelp platform and talk to somebody concerning whatever it is you're going through. They have family therapies, they have marriage therapies, they have licensed clinical social workers, and they also have professional, you know, therapies. So, Whatever field it is that you know you're having issues with or you need someone to talk to, you can find a therapist for you on BetterHelp. Your communication is private and secure. You're going to have a room, basically a virtual room where you meet with your therapist and you drop messages. You can also schedule to meet with your therapist and talk to them live. You can have a live chat with your therapist. So from all angles, you're actually good. However, if you have an emergency that needs immediate you know, attention, then contact your emergency services. You know, anything aside that, you can always send a message to your therapist and they will respond to you as soon as possible. And for you to sign up, you can get 10% off with my link. My link is going to be in the description box. So yeah, once you click the link, you get access to an online therapist and you also get 10% off your sign up fee. So yeah, that's really exciting. So please go and check it out. But thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. So now let's move on to the topic at hand. So yeah before you start looking for a life partner make sure that you are the right partner yourself okay yes it takes two to tango okay it takes two to make a relationship work okay so once you are sure that you are the right partner yourself then 50 percent of the work is already done okay <laughs> yeah basically so how do you make sure that you're the right partner? Make sure you identify your own core values because it's one thing to say, oh, this guy is not the person for me. Do you know what values you hold there that somebody you are supposed to bring into your life is supposed to also hold there? Do you get what I mean? So 
identify your core values you know put them in hierarchy prioritize some things so I mean we all have several core values but not all our core values are on the same level okay so there are some things that to us are a no-brainer they are non-negotiable and again it varies from person to person so my core values are not might not necessarily be your own core values okay you know even though human beings have same core values somehow for instance loyalty human beings require loyalty from their partners so then find out the ones that eh, maybe they are not so um important meaning that for instance you you yourself might not do those things but you don't judge or mind other people who do those things right okay so for instance uh, what can i give us an example now uh, for instance, I don't really drink. I'm not someone who I really don't like alcohol. I, 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 yeah, I don't drink alcohol. I don't smoke. I don't do any of that. It doesn't interest me. And it's not something that I will start compromising on on a normal day for myself. Okay. What I mean is I will not go and smoke because another person is smoking. I will not go and drink because another person is drinking. Once in a while, I can just sip a drink, but without it, I'm good. I, I'd rather do without it. Okay. So that's a core value in quotes to me. However, I don't judge you know, my husband, if he decides to drink, right? Well, I will judge him if he gets drunk oh, and he has never gotten drunk. He doesn't drink, you know, he doesn't drink that much either. But I'm just saying, I don't care if my husband drinks, but he should not get drunk. So that's a core value that I would say is not at the top of my list. So it is not non-negotiable or it's not something that I cannot compromise on. I can take a, a drink or two if I want to, but I won't naturally gravitate towards that. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So identify your core values is very important because if you don't know what those important things are to you how do you know that you can, you are finding those things in a partner does that make sense yeah i feel like it does <laughs> I'm, I'm talking and i'm answering myself and then work on yourself as a person um some people are very nasty they have very bad attitude they are not good friends they are not good partners they are not they're they are basically nasty um we have a lot of all human beings in general have a lot of things that we grew up with that are not necessarily that good okay some personality traits that are not good some you know culture or you know upbringing some baggage basically that we we grew up with that is not necessarily good you know in society or good for you as a person or good for your partner so if you can identify those things and try and change them let's say you are somebody who is very rude okay if you try and change and be more polite you are more likely going to attract a person who likes politeness right and somebody who is polite as well but if you are rude and you don't change it you are more likely going to attract a person who is rude as well and then the person's rudeness might be worse than your rudeness and you'll be wondering oh my god why is it like this hey you're the one that actually brought him i don't actually attracted him to yourself with your nasty behavior so that's basically what i'm trying to say so be the right person be the right partner and then 50 percent of the work is already done okay now the next thing that you should actually look out for and is very very important is mutual respect you should respect your partner and your partner in turn should respect you okay don't take anything less if you have a partner who disrespects you at any given time or you know is habitual some people can disrespect you without knowing it and when you tell them you know they change they apologize that's a different case i'm talking about people that who i'm talking about people who constantly disrespect you and instead of them to apologize or change they start gaslighting you and making you feel like you're the problem you're the cause you're the one who is so uptight you're the one who has the issues run away from such people okay so mutual respect is very important make sure you respect your partner and make sure they respect you in return a lot of people feel like is they don't really care what or they shouldn't care what their partner thinks i'm sorry you actually should care what your partner thinks i care what my partner thinks because i respect him and he should in turn care what i think because he respects me so it's not it is mutual like we we both respect what each other person what each person thinks so there's some things that i don't do today because my husband does not like them and there's some things that he doesn't do today because i don't like them in, you are in a relationship you want to be in this relationship you are not forced to be there so you should actually make some compromises for your partner the same way your partner should actually make compromises for you so if you are with a partner who is not making compromises for you who is who expects you to compromise for him while he doesn't change then please run away from such person because such person is going to suck the life out of you they are always going to expect you to keep compromising while they don't change and they start they even get worse okay so you are allowing them to get away with just a little and then when you get married to them they will try and get away with as much as they can while you're going to keep compromising and compromising so 
make sure that you both mutually respect each other some people when they are out in public they don't know how to respect themselves or respect their partners in public the kind of things they say to their partners in public kind of things they do to their partners in public red flag flying all over the place like you're making other people uncomfortable because of your relationship and sometimes the reason why a lot of women don't respect their partners is because they married somebody or their relationship with somebody who genuinely in their hearts they don't think the person has much to offer to them okay don't marry a man or don't be in a relationship with a man out of pity don't be in a relationship with a man because he has worn you down with you know pursuing you like he's uh, he has been on your on your case for years so let me just agree to him because he has been on my case no don't marry a person out of pity or out of you know you're now you're now desperate or you're now you know tired of saying no so you just say yes eh, eh, that's <laughs> please don't do it sis don't even do it okay because what tends to happen sometimes is that when you marry a man out of pity or you're just tolerating him the man knows right he knows and then when he finally gets you and you, you guys are now married he will now start dealing with you he will now start trying to exert his dominance on you when you are in a marriage and you know that oh you don't really have a choice at this point i mean your only choice is to walk away and most people don't want to walk away most people do not plan to walk away so when he now starts dealing with you he's dealing with you because he knows deep down that you, you never really respected him you never really loved him never really you know regarded him as someone important and then now that he now feels like oh he's now the husband he would deal with you so run from such men though. they have fantasized about you so much in their heads that they're like it's almost like an obsession like if i don't get this lady i'm not going to i'm not going to breathe i'm not going to to leave okay and when they finally get you that obsession turns into hatred that obsession turns into disdain okay so it's not even just mutual respect if you're marrying a man that does not have self-respect ah <laughs> that one is even worse than anything though no. if you're marrying a man who does not have self-respect he's tossed anywhere tossed to and fro amongst his friends he's always the bottom the jokes amongst his friends he's like the he's like the 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 least friend amongst his friends he's the one that they use anyhow he's the one that they treat anyhow run away from such people okay now the next one which is basically one of the most important ones right and the most interesting to be honest but one of the most important things that you should make sure you look for in a partner is kindness okay marry a partner who is kind there's a, there's a saying about um it's not always about being right it's about being good or something like that i can't remember how we, how that saying goes but yeah okay <laughs> you guys my lap is spinning my my thighs are paining me when you are having arguments when you are having you know issues in your relationships look for how your partner solves those issues look for how your partner tackles or attends to such issues okay is he being malicious having good intentions is very very important having good intentions having good you know outlook at life okay the way the person does things for people does things for others make sure that the person is doing it out of kindness not out of you know what they stand to gain for instance some people do things for other people just because they stand to gain something okay you will know these things like you will know these things from interacting with somebody if the person generally wants the best for you what they want for you might not be the best for you but to them it is the best to me that's okay as long as in his mind he feels like he's doing the best for me like he's doing the best thing that you know what that will help his wife that will help his partner then for me that's enough okay so it doesn't mean that it's going to be the best because that's why sometimes i excuse some things that my husband does because i know that when he was doing those things or when he was saying those things to me he was genuinely saying what he feels will is uh, what he feels is the best or what he feels will help me the most even above him like what he feels oh this is what is right for my wife what he's actually generally advising me to do or you know or he's, he's doing for me basically anyway i've talked too much about this point i think you guys get it already okay and then the next one which is quite you know related is acts of service make sure your partner is committed to serving you okay relationships marriage is all about service okay it's all about what you have to offer to the next person not what you have to gain from them okay so if you get this right trust me you're going to be in, the, in a blissful marriage once you find a partner who is committed to serving you and you to them you are committed to serving them as well you're good right you're good because it means that you know throughout the course of your relationship what is important to you is that the other person is satisfied right so you're satisfying him he's satisfying you you're serving him he's serving you you're submitting to him he's submitting to you you are both 
committed to you know helping each other out in different ways you know once you find a partner that's like that please hold on to him okay hold on to his boxers do not let him go because we live in a society now where everybody is looking out for themselves nobody wants to look out for the next person even in relationships people are in relationships but they're looking out for themselves alone how can they collect how can they get how can they use the other person you know they want to use you you as in that's just basically human behavior now obviously not everybody's like that but majority of people are now tending towards that and then the last one is peace look for peace pursue peace by all means okay some people feel like some people mistake peace for you know being boring right some people feel like the relationship is too boring because the relationship is peaceful trust me sister you don't want a chaotic relationship okay you don't want a, a relationship where you're not certain you can't tell where the person is at all times you can't tell what the person does or what the person is going to do like for me there are things that if you tell me now that my husband did or my husband uh, you know said he would do I will know whether you are lying or not, okay? I can predict his behavior to a very large extent. I like that. I love the, how boring it is, okay? Personally, I don't consider it boring. It is better for me to have such a relationship than to have a chaotic one where you guys today, you people are having sex on the balcony or anywhere, and then tomorrow, you are basically enemies. You are cheating with each, on each other. You are calling the cops on each other. You are moving out his... Uh, like, no, nah, nah, sis, okay? If you have a relationship that is that chaotic, how much more a marriage? And then that's really terrible when you're going to bring kids into such a situation, especially if you want kids, okay? So... As far as I'm concerned, look for a, a partner who you find peace with, who you are happy with, who you can predict the person's behavior to a certain extent. You can tell that the person loves you and you love the person as well. That's okay, okay? <laughs> that's okay, okay? Anyway, yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Let me know if there's anything I missed that you feel like you can add to the conversation. I remember this video is sponsored by BetterHelp and with my link in the description box, you can sign up on BetterHelp and you'll get 10% off, okay? Yeah, um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.